Kanye, concerning private schools refunding school fees, a directive that was given by the government yesterday through the Education Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magoha. And uh, Mr. Mtanyi, thank you so much for talking to us here on KTN News Center. Such a difficult moment for private school um, operators because parents are looking up to you in terms of refunding the school fees. Is it something that you're ready to do as we speak? Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, I want to appreciate the opportunity this morning to uh, be part of this conversation. Of course, you can tell that uh, that's a very difficult situation. It's a catch-22. We find ourselves between a rock and a hard place. Of course, you can bear in mind that schools had opened, and out of the 14 weeks, we had actually done 11 weeks of first term. That means even if uh, monies were paid, definitely we had actually spent in terms of uh, uh, operational costs. And uh, I, just as the CS made the declaration and the pronouncement, that kind of, you know, throws most of the private schools, of course, even with CETAM, in a very, very uh, difficult situation. But I want to say, Brenda, that is a conversation that individual private schools may have to uh, open with the parents because I'm looking at the possibility of discussing, you know, the, 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 if there's any refund, then we are talking about the three weeks that had not been, uh, had not been covered. And that is a conversation that each, you know, private school, individual private schools, directors and owners may want to uh, open with the parents and reach an amic amicable, uh, you know, uh, uh, decision. So what happens? So that is what I may want to say, Brenda. So Mr. Mutani, what happens to parents who had already paid uh, third term school fees? Because some of them are like, so, so there's no school this year uh, in terms of second and third term. School begins in January. Are you ready to forward the third term school fees to next year? Of, of course, you can tell if there's any parent who had paid excess over and above first terms fee, we are talking about the three weeks that had not been covered, and we are talking about the excess that, uh, you know, uh, any parent may have uh, paid. Really, that is uh, a discussion that would want to be, you know, to be started. But second and third terms fee, because I am aware that there are parents who pay fees for the whole year. Really, it is only appropriate that if there's any parent who had paid excess, or first term has paid, you know, uh, second term and third term, that really then there's a conversation around that in terms of what percentage to refund or to carry it forward to next year. And for me, I may want to ask that in the conversation, then we are not talking about refund. We can all, all, almost discuss, you know, the credit note, giving a parent a credit note that you actually, you know, the, the school owes you this much. All right. That is what I want to say at this point in time. All right. A worried lot within the private sector is not only parents but teachers who are, you know, teaching in private schools. And like the government teachers, yes. uh, the Teacher Service Commission, that is the teachers' employers for teachers in public schools, says that uh, teachers in uh, public schools will continue getting their salaries. What happens uh, to teachers in private schools? Because so many of them are on unpaid leave unless they're doing the online classes. Yeah. Well, uh, Brenda, you know, we are, as the, 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 the CS of Health, uh, Mutai Kagwe says, <laughs> this is abnormal. So you can tell that we are actually in very abnormal, very strange time, you know, times. We have never been this way. These are strange territories altogether. And of course, now it will be dependent on the financial muscle and the establishment of each uh, private school. I want to say as much as possible, if it is, it can work out, if it's practical, that uh, in a way, whether the teachers are going on a salary cut or something, it will still be important that they are supported in one way or another. And so, again, this is where now even, uh, I may want even to appeal to the county government to really see how to come in, because in as much as they are private schools, really we supplement the effort of the government to offer quality education to the citizens, to the children of this nation. And when we get in these strange times, and of course we got to COVID-19 so abruptly after the presidential pronouncement that, you know, from the uh, for 13th that we had just closed, uh, you know, for the weekend. 
And from there onwards, from 15th, there was no school whatsoever. So it was so abrupt and no one planned for this. And so I may want to appeal to the county government to see how to come in and even cushion the directors and the proprietors of private schools, at least to support the teachers with the basics until normal series So that can you confirm, right. Mr. Mutanyi, can you confirm to us whether private school teachers, especially Satan Academy, are earning their salaries, whether in full or pay cut? They're taking a pay cut. Yes, they are earning, and we, I have all the teachers on board in all the CITAM, the eight CITAM learning institutions spread all the countrywide. The teachers are actually being, uh, they are sustained by the, the institution, by crisis, the answer ministries. All right. That I can confirm. All right. Now, let's have this conversation. We take this conversation further to the syllabus. I know CITAM yes. school has been having the online classes, and the ministry says that the calendar year for the year 2020 has just gone like that. So it means all yes. the students, all the pupils in your school have to start a new calendar year in the year 2021. So what, what are you going to do? Are you going to do a revision, or are you going to start again afresh for all the pupils? What's happening at the moment, Brenda, with the uh, CITAM schools, we are uh, online, but uh, specifically, you know, for very intensive revision and just to keep the children engaged. And I keep saying, apart from the revision programs that we have uh, for the children, we are also offering them psychosocial support. You can tell that all of us adults, we talk to one another, but sometimes no one comes down to the children to actually talk to them. And so on these online platforms, we also offer psychosocial support, even having the children come together and see each other, though, you know, virtually, you can tell that that offers a very, very a key component in terms of supporting the children psychologically. So we continue with our intensive revision program. And of course, with the psychosocial support, we intend even now to bring in other components, life skills, whether it is a, a physical education, the home science, the art, those are some of the components that we intend now to incorporate. All right. Given that we're going all the way to uh, January. All right, thank you so much. David Omutanye, Principles Christ is the Answer Ministry as uh, Academy, talking to us about the difficult times that private schools are facing right now after that directive that was issued yesterday by the government through the Ministry of Education that parents who had paid school fees in advance for second and third term be refunded or the school fees be carried forward to 2021.